Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And today I'm gonna to tell you guys about Gravity Forms. So this is a plugin that you can use to create forms on WordPress websites. This is one of the premier tools that you can use for your WordPress website. And I've used it probably since they've almost I mean, I've been using it since, I don't know, 2014, 15, so six six years now. I've been using this for a while, and I wanna tell you right now, this is probably the best form plugin that you can use for WordPress, and I'm gonna tell you why in just a few moments here and go through some of the features that Gravity has that some other form, form plugins don't have. I'm gonna tell you why that Gravity Forms is a must have for you and your clients in particularly why your clients need this, why you can convince your clients that they need this. There's features in here that are just not available with free plugins. Okay, you don't wanna use a free form plugin on your website. It just, it's gonna to lead to a bunch of headaches for you. But here's some of the integrations that Gravity Forms does work with. PayPal, MailChimp, Stripe, a signature form. And I do have some tutorials on these as well. As I said, I've used Gravity Forms before in the past and I wanna let you guys know about some of the features that really make this a great form plugin to use. And if you would like to get this, there is a link below in the description there. That is an affiliate link of mine, but like I said, I use this every single day and I've done every single WordPress website. And I wouldn't steer you guys in a direction of something that I don't use as well. One of the reasons I love to use Gravity Forms are all the integrations that it has. You can integrate membership websites, you can use PayPal, Stripe, MailChimp, Authorize.net. One of the really cool things is Zapier. Zapier is a automation type of plugin that, or it's an automation type of software that you can use with Gravity Forms. For example, somebody can fill out a form on your website you can connect it to Google Sheets via Zapier. So if somebody fills out a form, it'll send it right to your Google Sheet in a particular column that you want with that information that you've captured. It's pretty powerful. You can also do quizzes, you can do surveys, you can connect it to your Slack. They also have a demonstration on their website if you wanna go check that out as well. One of the things I love that it does is that it sends you a notification. So it can send multiple notifications to you. So after a submission, they'll send you a notification, it'll send your client a notification, it'll send whatever email addresses you want for your gravity forms to be notified and I'm just going to show you an example I had or I'm just going to tell you about an example I had with the client they have five different stores and they need whenever somebody selected a particular store this is what we call conditional logic by the way whenever somebody selected store number three they needed the store number three email to be sent the notification from the gravity form and then it would also send a notification to the owner of all five stores. Somebody fill out the form for store three, send store owner th or store manager three a email, then it would send the store owner an email as well. If somebody filled out an application for store number five, it th sends store five manager an email as well as the store owner as well. So that's just one of the ways that you can use it to send out notifications. And one of the most powerful things about this thing is about the gravity forms is that besides the conditional logic is that stores the files in the back end. It stores the submissions in the back end. So let's say somebody submits a store, an application for store three, and it, for some reason the manager doesn't get it. They call the store, hey, I submitted an application for store three, didn't you guys get it? No, we didn't get it. Okay, let's check the back end of the website. You can go back into the WordPress website and find the submission form from that applicant. Let's just say you're doing this with contact form seven. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen with other WordPress plugins. This saves your form entries in the back of the website, which is huge. And believe me, that saved me a number of times. Clients called up, hey, so-and-so said they filled out a form on my website. I didn't get the notification. Where's the notification at? For whatever reason, they didn't get it whether it's their email or whatever their situation was, they didn't get it. So now you can go right into the back end and get the form right there. As I said before, this has a lot of different add-ons and in integrations that you can use. And one of the things that I like about it is that I use it with my email autoresponder all the time, my Get Response email autoresponder. I set up a whole bunch of different forms and I can connect them to all my different lists that I have already installed in Get Response. And there's a number of different options here, Active Campaign, AWeber, uh, Constant Contact. So MailChimp, I would, I would advise using MailChimp for your email list just because they're so restrictive on a bunch of different options. There's a 30 day free trial to Get Response. Response. If you do need an email autoresponder, that will save you a lot of headaches 
as opposed to get response which is free and get response is only about 15 bucks a month after that so it's really affordable but a lot of these add-ons for gravity forms are add-ons that you can integrate with a lot of different uh, companies and extend your services as you can see for the pro add-ons for gravity forms they have the paypal commerce the paypal payments and the slack and square integrations as well and the uh, zapier integrations and that's something that the basic that ones doesn't have as i was talking about before the zapier ones where you can have them fill out the form and then that form send to a google sheet which is pretty cool again there's a thousand different integrations you can do with zapier uh, but gravity forms is one of them so then you get to the elite package which is the one i have and actually if you think about it 259 for unlimited websites if you're a web design firm this is a must have this is unlimited websites with all you can do anything with all these different websites integrations that gravity forms has for 259 dollars a year okay that gets you updates and everything like that it's really a no-brainer to use if you're making websites because for one, you offer this just as something standard as a website. Instead of the contact form seven, you offer the gravity forms just as a standard item, which separates you apart from your competitors already. Now, if your client wants these advanced options or you want these advanced options, you can offer them to every single one of your clients. For example, if you want to set up a user registration website, which I have a tutorial for, if you want to set up a user registration form, you're going to charge way more than $259 to set up a user registration form. All right. This is what I'm saying is that it's going to pay you back. The first time you use this, it's going to pay you back. And there's so much that you can do. Now, one of the things that I, um, that I will say that I like as well as a feature is that there's an import and export feature where you can import layouts and export layouts. So if I were to make some layouts, I can import them. If you make one form for a website, you can just export that and import that to all your different websites where that form is necessary. Same thing with your clients. You can even make forms and sell them. So there's so much things you can do with this gravity forms. And like I said, guys, I use this on every single website I have has gravity form on it it's so invaluable not to be capturing the information in the back end of the website as long as as well as a bunch of other features that you can use and like I said guys there's a ton of different features you can sell digital products on it I sell digital products with gravity forms I do users registrations with gravity forms I have just basic email opt-ins with gravity forms so like I said, there's a million different things you can do you can look at the pricing right here the elite license for sure is going to be your best bet. You want to make sure you can put this on unlimited websites because you're just going to want it for unlimited sites. Believe me, you get all the add-ons for free. When you get the uh, elite license, this is what you're going to want to do, especially if you're an agency or if you're designing websites, this will pay for itself one time after one use when you install this for a client. Okay. If your client wants an application form where file uploads, this can do that. If they want whatever they want, basically this can do it. And like I said, there's a lot of integrations with one of the cool things they also provide is a CSS ready class. So this allows you to do a number of different things. They already have classes set up and all you do is you copy and paste this code into a uh, the little box right there where it says CSS class name. And then it does the columns here. So it has all these codes already built in. All you gotta do is copy and paste. So guys, this is a really versatile form building WordPress plugin that you can use for all your websites. Go ahead, check it out guys. I would say get it. Like I said, I use it on all my websites. I wouldn't tell you to use it if I didn't use it myself. Go ahead, check out the links below in the description and check out some of my other gravity forms tutorials where i tell you how to do user registration multiple step forms how to make an application and i teach you conditional logic go ahead and check those out get gravity forms and i'll see you on the other side